So, we're going to try and make farting polite in society. The next push, I think. Is it? Or is this complete nonsense? Probably complete nonsense. But I'm going to read this article that I may or may not have wrote, written. This is from our, uh, our friends at CNN. So, you know it's true. Farting on a stranger. Once a microaggression, now a part of polite society. It's a lovely fall evening, and you're out on the town with your friends when suddenly you feel the roar of the return of that burrito bowl you ate just 20 minutes ago. You have a packed evening, which includes an anti-capitalism protest followed by a drag show sponsored by the Democratic Socialists of America, so you can't bail and head home to park yourself on the toilet for the night. You're just going to be forced to lightly season the air with the digestive aftermath of your poor evening dietary choices. What if that scent of an active digestive system was not an embarrassing situation, but one that resulted in societal praise. That's the question that liberal arts student Chaz Boofer is asking with his TikTok channel in his newest string of viral videos entitled Letting Go Wherever You Go. He suggests that holding in your farts is not only fascist, but completely racist and oppressive. He's not alone. Just ask his 14 million TikTok followers who enthusiastically call themselves Boofer's Poop Scoopers they all agree that holding in your gas is not only bad for the climate, but it's actually a microaggression towards others and completely racist. To not fart on a visible minority is to, is to say that you're better than them and they're not allowed to smell your poop smells, and that's just racist and goes back to slavery times, states Leanne Stokely, an active follower of Boofer's TikTok page. This new trend has not come without some backlash in the community. Critics of the movements are making themselves heard in a loud way. We need to push back on this new perverse and disgusting trend and let these idiots know to keep their shit to themselves, states Henry Rustis, a neo-Nazi white supremacist fascist Trump supporter who we approached for comment. At least 12 other domestic terrorists were approached for comment and agreed with Rustis. With this movement capturing the hearts of the morally superior people of this country, what's next for the movement? We plan to take this to the next level. Why just fart anywhere we like? We can just take complete dumps right on, on the sidewalk, says Boofer. He may be onto something, as we know this works well in cities like San Francisco and public beaches where beachgoers drop deuces and bury them in the sand like kitty litter. Sharing our backdoor smoothies with others helps keep the community inclusive. Just a decade ago, society would have thought it weird and disgusting to have middle-aged, slightly overweight men dressed in women's lingerie reading books to our kids but we've managed to normalize that. Publicly tossing a little air cookie in the direction of a stranger's nose holes shouldn't cause that much of a stink. Yeah, so, this is, uh, it's, it seems to be a push by our liberal friends or our, our leftist woke friends to, uh, to make farting in public not only polite and acceptable, but uh, something to be cheered on, you know, to be celebrated. So it's a step in the right direction. For, the, for the, the push towards a woke society, as Kamala Harris would say, be wokest or woker. So, yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's a good thing. I'll pack up on the gas and run around and fart on a bunch of lefties. I have really no problem with that. So, you know, and maybe I'll become a boofer uh, poop scooper myself. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this, uh, is this a good thing? Is this even real? I don't know.